In December of 1966, Slippery came down with an infection. His weight dropped from 400 pounds to 250. But by New Year's Day, he was well enough to go back into his pool. It was a very cold day, and it was, it was touchy. Slippery's mate came up on the platform and watched the whole procession of the funeral. And after it was over, the burial, when the box, they had him in a box, and when they lowered the box into the ground, uh, his mate slid down off the slide and dove down into the water and took over from there on. Lost a good friend, close friend. That was one of the highlights of my zoo career, was uh, getting him, catching him. It was great. It's interesting in my later years at Storybook to go down and see Grandpa with Grandson saying, and this is Slippery's pool, and this is where Slippery was, and over to the little map beside the pool, and yet he, and the whole story comes out as, as Grandpa or Dad tells the next generation, and I can remember this story. And I think that that's probably, if you'd like to call it a legacy, that it is something that, that it's, it's become our own London's fairy tale. He lived to be 10 years old, older than most sea lions live in captivity. He made Storybook Gardens a thriving success and secured his name in London's history books. He became a symbol of goodwill between two nations and forged friendships that would last beyond his death. But his greatest triumph would come after his sensational capture in Sandusky, after his heroes returned to London. It would come in this sea lion pool. There have been times when I've come down that slide and done a quick three laps like black mercury swirling around a dish. And when I come back up and look out at the crowd, I'll find a kid leaning over the fence. And there's a look of animal rapture on his face. And that look tells me that he could never do what I just did, but he can imagine himself doing it the very same way. And in those moments, I've felt a very intimate communication. Each of us has learned something about what it's like to be inside the other one's skin. And that's something important that can happen here. 